And then when you're making money, you're like, wow, I'm making money off of all the things that I learned when I was just having fun playing basketball. You know, it always starts from passion. I drove, I, I wanted to play ball. I didn't say, oh, I want to be a businessman, you know, through ball. But that's what ended up happening. I became hoop. You know what I mean? Like if you're trying to become something, if you want to get somewhere, you have to become that all encompassing. So that's what I said I was going to do. <laughs> my name is Desmond Beristain. Thankful for this blessed day. For my loved ones, I work hard. For my sanity, I work smart. For my passion, I continue to create. For this life, I show gratitude. Will the universe and let positivity shine. For the mind is infinite and the opportunity is now. A little dab for you. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome to my channel. If you're tuning in, you're here to get some tips, whether it's in business, whether it's in basketball, whether it's in just leveling up the next level of life, whatever it is. Thanks for tuning in. We're gonna talk about today how I was able to make a boatload of money, you know, more money than I thought I would make by chasing my hoop dreams, literally. You know what I mean? It all starts from passion and that's what I wanna talk about. So when I was in high school, I literally just wanted to play basketball. That's it, you know what I mean? So I would just immerse myself in that. You know, and I'm gonna literally talk about how basketball accidentally made me money. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, cause we're about to start flowing. We're about to start flowing and going. So I wanted to play basketball and I decided in high school, it's like super late. Anyways, it's all right, it doesn't matter. No excuses, right? If you're here, you wanna be motivated, you're ready to level up. So no excuses is the whole mentality, you know? It's finding out a way, finding out a way. There is a solution. So 14 years old, freshman in high school, about what, 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 six foot on a, on a great day. And I knew that I wanted to get to the next level. I wanted to chase my hoop dreams. So what did I do? I became hoop. You know what I mean? Like if you're trying to become something, if you want to get somewhere, you have to become that all encompassing. So that's what I said I was going to do. And it literally started from, okay, I'm going to watch as many basketball games as I can. Uh, on all levels, college, high school, uh, pro. I'm gonna be in the gym as much as possible, right? I gotta make up for lost time. Um, I'm gonna wear what hoopers wear, honestly. Like that's, and that's where it started, right? I didn't even know that me emulating hoopers, you know, or who, at the time I was an aspiring hooper. I was just like learning, like I had no left, I had no left. But um, that meant like, I need the J's, man. I need fresh J's. I need J's on my feet right now. So I invested, you know, I saved up money or whatever. Talked to my mom, like, mom, I love hoop. If I get a 4.0 GPA, hey, if I succeed in this one category of life, you know, um, can you reward me with a couple pairs of J's? So the deal was made. That's what I'm saying, man. Like the thing about chasing your dreams is uh, in this path, in this route for me to become a basketball player, to play on the high school team, then to play beyond that college and, and pro and be able to do that, which I have, um, you know, but it all started with like smaller transactions. Like, let me get these J's <laughs> because in my opinion, you know, as that, as that kid trying to, trying to figure it out, having these shoes, I'm thinking, oh, well, I look like a baller. I'm gonna perform like a baller. You know how they say that? Like, oh, if you look good, you feel good, you play well, great. You know, and, it, and, and early on, I think what that does is just it has you chasing your curiosity. Um, obviously, you're conforming a little bit, but you're experimenting, too. So it's funny how now in retrospect, you know, me having accomplished what I've accomplished, um, being able to play basketball in multiple countries, being able to, you know, have skills and step on a court and and be able to have an impact. Um, and if you don't know, just go check out my other videos because I'm not just blowing smoke. But it's funny because now I do the opposite. Now I go on basketball courts and I wear the cheapest shoes, like just for fun. Like I'll wear sh uh, Shaq. Shout out to Shaq. Love you, Shaq. You just know, you know, they, they make jokes about like Shaq having Payless shoes. If you don't know what Payless is, it's like pre-Walmart shoes. Um, but I'll go out there and I'll like bust and, and, and kill dudes, you know, with, with Shaq's on, which is really funny because at the end of the day, it is all mental. But anyway having those fresh kicks, 
you know so i started building a collection like man i want to be fresh i want to be that guy like dang here comes des he's got the fresh pair of kicks he's got this and that so i started learning about jordan shoes and collecting jordan shoes and the culture and i learned that dang these shoes aren't are expensive you know people pay a pretty penny for them so i needed to save money i don't have all the unlimited funds so i'm trying to find like shoes online that people only wore have worn like once or twice so they call them very near dead stock they're not brand new but they're they're dang near close so i started doing that and you know the reason why i say basketball made me so much money is that's how i cultivated this ability to generate more money to to let me buy these shoes online um, some guys selling these Space Jam Jordans for 150 and they they're dang near brand new like they're very close to looking brand new um, But they're not obviously but I'm I could probably sell these J's for 250 You know what I mean and find someone that'll pay me 250 for them and then I'm gonna take that 100 and then reinvest it and go get another pair of J's You know what I'm saying and then just keep doing that and I did keep doing that You know what I mean and then all of a sudden I know I you know I got literally in my closet I got you know 100 pairs of shoes and I probably and it started off from you know five pairs and then flipping three to get six then flipping six to get ten then flipping ten to get twenty you know stuff like that so that's where that's the first place where basketball I saw it started accidentally making me more money just chasing the dream like just literally wanting to dress like a hooper and do all of that so um, after that <laughs> you know, I, I was able to play basketball, um, varsity, cool, college, which, which was interesting, sat the bench, but I stuck with it and I was still flipping shoes, making money, you know, which allowed me to stay on the courts, allowed me to train. Now, where basketball also made me a bunch of money is it started to cultivate a mindset, right? Because success in the business world, I started to notice that as I got into the business um, world after playing overseas and when I started to start my own companies, you know, tech company, uh, training business, all that, you know, I, I understood that it required another level of discipline, right? Discipline, confidence, ability, um, being able to assess things. So, you know, me being a, a guard, uh, I'm making decisions on the court, right? And also me starting to play basketball late, me being a shorter basketball player, it's like all these things, all these skills that had to be implemented, all this extra level of discipline, you know what I mean? Um, being willing to go the extra mile. And I mean, that can easily translate. I mean, I think a lot of, uh, a lot of businesses love to hire athletes because they know they, they, they have that natural drive. They're going to go get after it. You know what I mean? And really what you want to do is transform the basketball court, right? To the next aspect of life. Like right now, I always say that, like, I always say like, oh, I'm still playing basketball. It just looks different. So made me money because I started flipping shoes. I started cultivating this mindset for, uh, just you know, without even knowing, I knew it was success on the basketball court, but then it translated to other areas. So when you're playing sports and that's the beautiful thing, you are establishing that foundation that's going to make the transition easier when you do want to start your own business and then having that belief in your in yourself, you know, so um, that's how basketball kind of accidentally made me a lot of money in that regard. Now, being able to have that consistency, you know, because Basketball is only is, is you play one game, then you're on to the next game. You, you got to perform again. You got to perform under pressure. So that's another thing. You know what I mean? And people pay. People will pay for somebody that can perform under pressure. Companies bring in CEOs. Pro companies bring in people to literally for that reason. Like, all right, when when stuff hits the fan, we need someone that's going to operate and make the right decision instead of freaking out and and all of a sudden now our stock's dropping all of a sudden now we're having issues like so for me basketball allowed me to do that because as i started my own tech company um and we started raising funds we started going viral we started encountering like wild scenarios um to the best of my ability i would try to stay level-headed and cool and then having a team of people around me you know just translating it kyp knowing my personnel that's kyp is something we use in basketball to know like all right who's a three-point shooter who's a center down who's someone down low that can make the easy bucket where do people like to get the ball you know what how do you speak to somebody to bring out the best of them you know so for me that was another thing that i was implementing right and now in the business world so 
I would just say basketball made me a lot of money in that way. And then guess what? I started uh, a new company, you know, my guys right here, the goats with skateboards, flipping boards. Check out my other channel, flipping boards. And same process. I wanted to collect, you know, it always starts from passion. I drove, I, I wanted to play ball. I didn't say, oh, I want to be a businessman, you know, through ball. But that's what ended up happening. And so I started other company, you know, flipping skateboards, rare collecting skateboards, buy, sell, trade, all that. And implementing what I learned with the Jordans into that field. So it's fun. It, it doesn't even feel like work. You know what I mean? And you're following your passion and you're making money. So, man, I mean, I'm just wanting to share that with you guys, how you can accidentally literally make money. Oh, oh and then on top of it, getting the professional contract like. Now you're getting paid, you know, and, and thousands of dollars, but it's like, it's not millions, it's thousands. But at the same time, like if you're doing something you love, like how many people are going to go to the park right now just to play? They're not going to get paid. Everybody didn't get paid. Shouts out to Kwame Brown, man. Love you. Um, So that's it. I really think like leaving you with this, if you tuned in this far, man, like, comment, subscribe, follow your passion and be aware of the life lessons because it's bigger than the ball you know what i mean the ball stops bouncing for all of us technically right like you know and you you transition into the next phase but if you can draw that parallel man it's a smooth transition and then when you're making money you're like wow i'm making money off of all the things that i learned when i was just having fun playing basketball so that's what it is guys like comment subscribe let me know what you think i'm gonna drop more of these videos i'm opening it up you know what i mean because this is a crystal ball right here it started with this little hoop dream and now it's led me to connect with you guys led me to start businesses and um let's keep it going so des 360 signing out peace